AskMrWizard.com reviews the Western Digital WDTV Live Streaming Media Player, or the SMP. When it comes right down to the basics, what is the real difference between a smart TV and a dumb one? Boil it all down to the bottom line and the difference is simple. You can connect a smart TV to more stuff and it'll know what to do with it. The Western Digital WDTV Live Streaming Media Player, or the WDTV SMP, is a kind of a helper for your TV. It makes your TV smarter. In this review, we'll describe the ways you can connect it to your TV, and then we'll summarize the things that you can, in turn, connect to its input connectors, and that it will then send on to your TV. Western Digital has been at this for several years. You have heard of Western Digital, haven't you? You've seen their hard disk drives everywhere. These guys are synonymous with big, high-performance hard disk drives. They like to sell big, hard disk drives. and Recently, they've seen demand for their capacious products increase dramatically as a result of the huge files that people create when they make or preserve video or music libraries. Now, back in 2008, they decided to try to stimulate this demand even faster. Their engineers reasoned that if they built a convenient, low-cost device that would play movie files from an attached hard disk drive onto TV sets in people's homes, then people would buy more disk drives. Using them to back up and play their home movies and all the DVDs and other movie media that everybody's been buying. As a result of this effort back in, 2000, in, in November 2008, Western Digital announced that WDTV, a little black box that could connect as many as two USB hard disk drives to a standard TV set through any of the popular TV input connectors, and that could play most of the video and audio file types that were in common use back then on the attached TV set. People liked that product, and since that time, Western Digital has expanded and enhanced it. As of this date in early 2012, the original WDTV box has been expanded and enhanced six times, counting that first offering, and it makes seven different versions that have been made available. They've assigned uh, similar names to each of these versions, and the names are so similar that one could become confused without help. Well, we're here to help. To summarize, these are the products and the product names that they've used. One of seven was the Western Digital TV, a WDTV in late 2008. Number two, the WDTV2 in early 2009. Number three was the WDTV Mini in the fall of 2009, the smallest of their offerings. Number four was the WDTV Live, also in the fall of 2009. Their fifth offering was the WDTV Live Plus in early 2010. And then in fall of 2010, they came out with the WDTV Live Hub. Finally, They've come out with this one, the WDTV Live Streaming Media Player. And all of these devices have been simple, low-cost little boxes. Today, in 2012, we're concentrating on that seventh and newest device. So if you're looking at WDTV devices today, and if your needs are typical of today's environment, then this is the one you'll want. We like this device. It makes your TV smarter. Like all six of its predecessors, it helps your TV to play movies, music, and photo files from attached hard disk drives. It also helps your TV adapt to the evolving services on the Internet. And it also helps your TV access movies, music, and photos that you've stored on the PCs that you've got networked around your own home. And it has one other big surprise that we really like. More on that later. You may already have a smart TV. Good for you. How much did you pay for it? $600? $1,000? $2,000? How many of the Internet's ever-changing services does it access? Is it easy to delete an old Internet service that's no longer offered or to add a new service that didn't exist when you bought it? Even if it's easy to, to upgrade your new TV now so that you can keep it up to date with new Internet services, do you really think that the manufacturer will always support it with easy upgrades? That TV might last you 10 or more years, but the manufacturer is going to want to sell you a new model in three or four years. And at some point, they may conclude that they'll make more money if they don't make it easy for you to upgrade your old one. What will you do then? Buy another relatively expensive TV? Well, 
The folks at Western Digital are betting that you'd prefer their approach, using a separate, small, low-cost device that'll be easy to upgrade for a few years, but can then be replaced with another, more powerful, small, inexpensive little box, when necessary, as a consequence of the natural advance of new technology. We are very pleased that so many people are finding our content on YouTube. However, if you are using only YouTube to explore these clips, you're missing out on a lot of the best information. Please join us at AskMrWizard.com, where you'll find this clip, all of the related clips easily located, along with related text, illustrations, and advertisements from vendors that sell related equipment. You'll also find forums where you can ask and receive answers to your questions. Your support at our site keeps us going, and we appreciate it. Thanks.